Now, in the year 1960, a few days after Nigeria got her independence, a star was born precisely on the 16th of October into the family of Chief and Mrs. Festus Famuagon from Adriakiti in the Kitty State. Now, that star grew up to be a real shining star in her chosen career as a banker. Now, until her death, she was the Deputy Governor of Ikiti State. I will present to you the life and times of late Mrs. Olua Fumilayo Aduni Olainka. It came as a rude shock to many when the news of the death of the Deputy Governor of Ikiti State, Mrs. Fumilayo Olainka, filtered in. Many people had hoped that it was just another rumor, but unfortunately, the Moremi of Ikiti State was gone after losing a battle to cancer which threw the people of Ikiti and other Nigerians into mourning. Condolence messages poured in from all over the country to her family and the Ikiti people. Determined to give her a befitting burial and pay their last respect, a one-week event was kick-started for her final journey, which began with a commendation service in Lagos State as eminent personalities joined her husband, Lanre Olainka, and their three daughters. Tributes poured in in words and in songs. Many things have been said about Fumi, the daughter, sister, wife, mother, friend, mentor, banker, politician, and deputy governor. Some have remarked by impeccable dressing, making her a fashion without such. And indeed, it cannot be denied that she played these roles at really well in this department of life with her God given endowment. That indeed brought tears to many. That done, the following day they all flew to Akure with the remains of the deputy governor, where a crowd of mourners waited to receive her body. With the remains, the family moved to Adoekiti in a long motorcade with crowds of mourners on the streets crying and waving.
first bus stop was her office, and the state governor, the Sakaiadi Faimi, was on hand to receive the body. This is our office. This was where she gave everything to our people. To the place where she has no more worry about this happy child. The next day, all attention was turned to the Olukayode Stadium for a brief line in state. Mom was a guiding light. She set the example of what a good wife, mother, and friend should be. She was God-fearing and brilliant in so many ways. She always knew the best thing to say in any situation. She was amazingly intelligent. There was a long line as everyone filed in one after the other to see her for the last time. This loss remains inexpressible. To say that you set for us a blazing example of courage in distress is true, but it doesn't quite cut it. To say you contributed immeasurably in making our state what it is today, and we, your colleagues, in the struggle for the emancipation of our land, doesn't speak loud enough. To talk of your selflessness in promoting everything in Kitty. To express that as an ambition is the life of fear. And then came the final day set aside for the funeral service. We moved through the streets again and finally arrived at the Cathedral Church of Emmanuel in Adui Kitty. Dignitaries from all walks of life, including past and present governors, came to support her family in their moment of grief. Hallelujah song, 
The service came to an end and straight to the graveside for the final burial rite amidst tears. Mrs. Fumilaya Olayinka was laid to rest at the Heroes Park in Adoikiti. The former top banker is survived by her husband, three daughters, siblings and aged parents. <laughs> 